Crossing the Bridge to Heaven Introduction To find where heaven is located, we need not to look for it in the outside, in this three-dimensional realm, because we won't find it anywhere and we would be better seeking for it instead inside our inner selves. As long as we believe we are a body, the earth gravity will exert its influence on us. In heaven, there is always peace and everything in this earth that violent peace and denies the value of God and what God values separates us from it. Heaven will always be our choice. What do we know about heaven? Apparently, according to the Bible, there are three heavens, or more precisely, three levels of heaven the immediate atmosphere above us, the universe with its stars and planets, and God's dwelling place. BiblicalChristianity.com All these three levels are constantly sending messages, omens, and statements to those who know how to decipher them. The heavens and the earth were created by God, and they are connected. They interact to such a degree that the earth lost its brightness and spiritual radiance through the fall of man, and everything went sour from there on because our earth were, was cursed as a result of that, and darkness took over everywhere through Satan. Nevertheless, out of compassion, a new opportunity to regain their lost spiritual nature was presented by our Father in Heaven to its offspring. Davalos 20, 21 Paul of Tarsus Herald of the Risen Christ, Part 1 His Heavenly Revelations And through the unending love of God, Jesus came down from heaven to show us the way of grace through faith and love. Thanks to His loving gesture, the heavens and the earth are still connected, and a hidden stair still exists between these realms where angels go down from heaven to earth and saints go up from earth to heaven. Jesus Christ returned to heaven where he has prepared a place for us if we are willing to follow him climbing the stairs that separates us from heaven. Is heaven a supernatural place? Is it a state of consciousness? Is it both? Heaven is the abode of God and His angels, and it is both a supernatural place and a higher state of consciousness. We will never find it nor enter into it if we don't radically change what we as beings are now and what we believe this world is. This world is nothing and we are a nothing living in it if we deny God. All these character flaws of living without God constitute sadly most of the times our natural state. Then heaven is by all means a supernatural state because it implies to be enjoying the presence of God in a higher state of consciousness that 
only can be attained in the eternal here and now and the holiness of the present moment. It is the only way to finish our slavery to all that is corrupted in this world. Is finding heaven an inner journey? Within lies the attitude and determination to purify ourselves with water by metaphorically selling all our possessions and giving them to the poor to follow Jesus and attain thus the fire of the Holy Spirit to be born again. This is certainly an inner journey to follow at all times the will of our Father in heaven for our lives is an inner path that nobody can walk on our behalf. Christ permanently dwells in every human heart. And we need spiritual introspection to be able to feel Him and be united with Him on a daily basis. The Opposite of Heaven Hell is a final guarantee that what we do here and now really matters. That's the message Paul Dykeman gives in the book Saints Who Saw Hell and other Catholic witnesses to the fate of the damned. If hell doesn't exist, then all roads lead to the same destination, whether it's heaven or annihilation or something else. And if all roads leads to the same place, it ultimately makes no difference which road we take. On the other hand, if our choices will lead us ultimately to one of two utterly different destinies, then our choices have crucially different consequences. When Jesus preached about hell, and he did so multiple times. His language, too, was terrifying. He spoke of unquenchable fire, gnawing worms that never die, weeping and gashing of teeth. If the merciful Redeemer didn't spare graphic language in warning us about hell, neither should we. Lopez 2020 crocsnow.com Let us think, what would it be to be totally expelled from the presence of God forever without any other opportunity to gain access to the doors of heaven if they close behind us for good? That would be certainly hell to endure desolation and eternal grief and mourning in the company of Satan, his dark angels, and all the evil generations that deny it God until the end. How can we cross the bridge to heaven? We need a new suit to be able to go up to heaven because with the current one we have that is made out of animal skin, like the one Adam and Eve received when they were expelled from paradise, we are irremissibly tied to this earth. A suit with a totally different and higher vibration made out of the absence of sin and out of prayer, faith, hope and grace that can and will override our sinful nature through the acquisition of spiritual entropy. What is spiritual entropy and what it means for our spiritual development? Davalos 2019, in his electronic book, Full of Grace, a short reflection on the new Eve, affirmed that to achieve the needed amount of sanctifying grace for our spiritual development is by no means a small feat. 
And the reason for this is very simple. Spiritual entropy. We have sinned, which in biblical, Greek, and Jewish terms means missing the mark. So we have missed the mark through countless lives living in error as it pertains to our relationship with our Heavenly Father. Instead of living in constant grace, we have lived so far in constant disgrace and we need to work hard in discipline, purity and obedience to our Heavenly Father in order to accumulate enough sanctifying grace to revert our spiritual entropy. In the spiritual realm, spiritual entropy is a measure of spiritual energy, sanctifying grace, that is available in a person to be able to be inspired, electromagnetically connected by his or her soul and through it by and with the Holy Spirit. Page 11. Davalos 2019 continues. Why do we keep missing the marks? Because we live in a tri-dimensional realm and are attached to the world of form and its desires. And because we, fascinated as we are by the flesh and its worldly rewards, do not even try to accumulate enough spiritual energy through discipline and obedience to God. We are too busy accumulating power and money and pleasures and being afraid all the time. Once we manage to accumulate enough spiritual entropy, we will enter into a state of holiness and nothing will be impossible for us because we will be in a permanent state of sanctifying grace and in a permanent contact with the energy of the Holy Spirit. And through this wonderful advisor, we will be in contact with the Son and with the Father. And this is nothing other than the recovery of our spiritual body subjugated by the evil one for eons to prevent our liberation from this dark world. Page 12. This will run, this will grant us access to the bridge of heaven. 